Hi guys. Oh, high five and welcome to another episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show. High five. 120 to be exact, as you can see on the screen. And it's the first time I've done one of these on my computer. What do you know? Well, literally just that, but you know. Let's not go too crazy up the wazai about this. And because this is the first one I've done on my computer, it means I can do a lot more in the episode for you than I can recording it as I normally would. Oh, yes. And you can believe this. So, how best to have you believe in this than showing you an animation for the first time in the show. Here we go, guys. Check out this animation. First episode of Ageless Beauty. Say, Sydney. Yes, Amber. I can't remember how long it's been since we last sat in a park in the middle of a dark night taking in the fresh air. I can. It has been about 250 years since that night. This night in 1769. I am surprised you remember that. 250 years though? OMG. It baffles everyone else as to why we need to breathe in fresh air, eat, drink and such. Given that we are immortal. I know right. It makes me laugh. People think that just because we can't die, it means we don't need to eat, drink and sleep. Classic stereotypes mortals slap on us. How else do we restore our energy, right? I know. We may be unable to die, but we do get ill just like they do. Even I've had terminal illnesses in my time, but survived them all. Amber. You are an 855-year-old girl. Do not laugh at life-threatening illnesses for these people. Naughty girl. You're right. I shouldn't laugh at that. It is highly inappropriate to do so. I'm a very naughty girl. And a very sorry one at that. It's all right. I forgive you. Do you remember when we first met? I do. Very fondly so. It was in the unforgettable summer of 1189, shortly after you turned 25. You were dying from a wound from a stray arrow. So I administered upon you the kiss of life, saving your life. Granting me the gift of immortality in the process. You were what? 600 or so at the time? Actually, embrace yourself for this but. When we met, I was over 700 years old. 720 to be exact. What? 
So you were born in 464 AD? Yes. Give and take. Hang on a moment. You just said you were 695 years older than me, so that doesn't add up. What do you mean? Well, if you were born in 464, and I was born in 1164, then that's 700 years between our births, not 695. So? That would have made you 725 when we first met, not 720. That makes you 1,555 these days, and not 1,550, as you falsely claim. Fair enough you caught me out. I think we should be going home now, as it's late. You're right. That was it. That was it, guys. Well, for the first time doing this sort of thing on the show, I hope to make it a tradition. <laughs> but we're going to call it here for this episode, and I'll see you for the next one soon. Until then, thanks for watching and bye-bye.